Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be looking at another one of the amazing plugins from Adobe Audition that we use in post production. And this one is a version of an equalizer called the FFT Filter. Um, it does some things that no EQ will do, and I wanted to show it to you so you have some experience, get these through the basics, and then in the Cinema Sound Education, we show you how and why we use it all the time. Let's roll. All right, here we are in Adobe Audition, and if you've never opened Adobe Audition, definitely go to cinemasound.com and download and stream the Adobe Audition 1, 2, 3 product so that you can get, I've never booted it, to I'm delivering some really great stuff. So. Here we are. This is a couple of clips that I've got, a dialogue. Let's just listen to them by themselves. You cannot bluff when you hold no cards. Slowly, Ballard, and I will not shoot you. You Texans in your honor. So pretty simple stuff. Um, what we want to do is put the FFT filter onto this track. Now we could put these, put that onto these clips by going to Effects, Filter and EQ and applying it, but we want to actually put it on the track itself so that every clip on this track gets applied the same. And we would go from clip, effect, clip effects to track effects, and then go filter and EQ, and there's FFT filter. Now it doesn't look like any EQ that you're probably used to seeing at all. It just has this weird, funny looking line. But what you can do, these, this represents frequencies from the lowest frequencies, 20 hertz, all the way up to the top frequencies, 22K. You, as you put and click on little dots like this, these little, keyframes, um, you can adjust either attenuating or boosting the frequency. So right here, we're around 300 hertz or so, and this is creating kind of this V curve way down here at minus 30 decibels. I mean, this thing goes way down to, in, I mean, basically kills frequencies, not just, you know, minus 10, minus 15, but like minus 96, minus 128. Let's uh, actually put this into uh, a loop for ourselves. Make sure the loop is on. It is. You cannot bluff when you hold no cards. Slowly, Ballard, and I will not shoot you. Pretty useful. And you can also do this for simple high-pass filtering like this. This basically just kills it. You cannot bluff when you hold no cards. Slowly, Ballard. Any low frequencies, they are gone. We can do the same thing by coming over here and just doing like a little high frequency boost, nice and easy, like this or so. You cannot bluff when you hold no cards. Slowly, Ballard, and I will not shoot you. Really, really nice sounding. And because it's FFT, it's using a special algorithm that's super low noise and super efficient. Now, how do we get rid of these splines? Well, or not splines, or keyframes. Well, we can hit this little, uh, you know, restart, renew, reset button and it puts us back to the default. Or we can right click or control click and we get edit point or delete point. We can obviously do that. And if you wanna see a numeric way of dealing with it, you can put this and say, hey, listen, I want 2250 Hertz to be down minus six decibels. Bam, there you go. Now we can create those spline curves I mentioned by doing this. And this creates a much more even uh, curvature version of the same thing so we can do these kinds of things that we're used to seeing in programs like uh, After Effects and Premiere, but we can do this with an EQ, you bluff when you hold no cards. which is super awesome. If we bring it back to the linear, it becomes very, very angular. You have the scale of how you want to look at this. Uh, obviously, the logarithmic is better because there's a lot more high frequency hertz in the upper frequencies than there are in the low. So the logarithmic is kind of a nice, easy way of seeing all the frequencies. You have advanced, which basically gives you all kinds of familiar or uh, capability with how big the fast Fourier size is from uh, 32. You cannot bluff when you hold no card. Well, all the way down to 32K. You cannot bluff when you hold no card. Basically, it's a resolution within the frequencies themselves so that, uh, you know, how, how, ac or how much resolution does this really have? Uh, and then uh, which kind of window do you, how, how do you want to look at this? And then lastly, up here, we have some pretty cool presets. Here's a C major triad. And that's because this can be made into such a narrow band. You can create hyper narrow, like note size, as you're hearing a C major triad. Let's try uh, only the tweeter. You cannot bluff when you hold the card. Really cool. How about underwater? You can't even hear it. She doesn't have frequencies down there. How about telephone voicemail? How about telephone receiver? You cannot bluff when you hold no card. 
There's lots of possibilities here. Obviously, like with all Adobe Audition plugins, you can save any presets that you custom build and throw any of them away. And it has the routing function here. Uh, I do want to show you one other cool thing. If we look at the waveform, or the, it's not a waveform, it's the you know the graphic of the visual of, of the sound. You cannot block. You can see her voice. These are her harmonics and fundamentals. If there was some frequency that you really wanted to get rid of, you could just take a look at this and go, hey, these are bad frequencies, if they were, and then just put a pinpoint on each one and then go to either side. And this is one thing that this EQ does that no other EQ does, and you can just kill it. I mean, this isn't a reduction. You are killing this frequency altogether. Now, what this is going to sound like, because it's dialogue, is some kind of weird comb filtering. But I just want to show you how powerful this is and how easy that is to find frequencies that you don't like, see them, and kill them. You cannot bluff when you hold no cards. I mean, look at the result. Slowly, Ballard, and I will not shoot you. I mean, this, this is actually post-effect. So you're seeing that those are just being carved out of there. And that's the power of the FFT filter. If you've watched any of these videos or the hundreds of other videos on this channel and find value with them, please subscribe to us here on the Cinema Sound channel and be sure to visit us at cinemasound.com. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're